Hi folks. So let's give this slightly different way of working a try. This is a video on simplifying things into the form n to 1 and 1 to n, but we just need to practice simplifying these kind of ratios first, okay? So as a bit of a reminder, to simplify a ratio, we treat it very much like a fraction. In a fraction, whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom. The same with ratios, but to each side. So we're looking for the highest common factor of both of these numbers, okay? So in this case, the highest common factor, the biggest number that goes into 12 and 18 is 6. So I'm going to divide 12 by 6, which gives me 2. And I have to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so 18 divided by 6 gives me a 3. It's quite a nice little method. So we're going to look for the same thing here. Now, sometimes you can't always see the highest common factor. I appreciate that. It's not always easy to see it first time. So same as fractions, it doesn't really matter if it takes you a couple of steps to get there. OK, so in this case, nine is the highest common factor. But perhaps you can't see that so quickly. So don't worry, we might be able to spot three. So if we divide both sides by three, we get three to 12 but then you need to make sure you carry on going because actually there's another common factor here of three so we can take a second step here to divide by three divide by three which gives three divided by three is one 12 divided by three is four okay and we can't go any further because we, we could divide by one but it wouldn't make any difference we'd end up with one to four still so it wouldn't simplify it any further. OK, and this one here is a little bit different because it's got three parts to the ratio. But that's OK. We treat it in the exact same way. So we're looking for the highest common factor of each one of these numbers. or Well, of these three numbers. So the highest common factor is 7 because they're all in the 7 times table. So we can divide by 7. I'm just going to write it on once this time. Divide by 7. So we get 3. 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 14 divided by 7 is 2. And that won't simplify any further. So, pop those in your book, label them off as an example. Okay, um, there will be a worksheet to accompany these. Once you've done those, we're going to have a look at these, okay? So, simplifying into the form 1 to n. Now, I've told you in the past that ratios never ever should have decimals or fractions in except in one special situation and this is it it's only allowable it's only allowed when you're asked to put it in the form one to n or n to one okay we'll come to those next so what we're looking for is the first number the first part of our ratio to be a one so we're going to do whatever we need to to that number to get a 1. And usually it's just dividing it by itself. Okay, because 12 divided by 12 is 1. 12 goes into 12 one time. So we get the 1. But as we just saw, we have to do the exact same thing to the other side. We don't go ahead and divide that by 10 because it wouldn't, it wouldn't keep it balanced out. We have to divide it by 12. So we're going to get 10 over 12, get a fraction. And we can simplify that. It would be nice if we simplified it. So we get 1, 2, 5, 6. Now it is in the form 1 to n, where n is 5, 6. So we're going to do the same thing for this one. We're trying to turn this number into a 1. So we're going to divide 6 by 6, which gives 1. And four, we have to match them up, so it has to be divided by six as well, which gives four six. And again, we can simplify that fraction to two thirds. Okay, get those as examples, and we've got one more to try here before you try the worksheet I've set for you to practice. So I'm hoping you can kind of see where we're going with this. It's the same thing, but this time, we're looking for this number to become the 1. So this time we're going to divide by 9 because we want this number to become the 1. Okay, so that gives us the 1. 
and here we get 3 divided by 9, which is 3 ninths, simplifies to 1 third to 1. And just one more example, make sure we've really got it. This time we're looking for the 10 to become the 1, so we're dividing by 10. This gives 1 and 9 divided by 10 which gives us nine tenths. That can't be simplified any further, which is absolutely fine. You can convert these into decimals if you want, if they work out nicely. So here we could have 0 0.9 to 1. It's, it's fine in either a fraction or a decimal. Don't get too worried about that. So I'm going to put a worksheet up for you to try. And there is a math watch activity because, of course, I can't check your books at the moment. So if you can complete the math watch activity, it would be really helpful because I can actually check we've all understood this. If you have any problems with it just drop me a message and we can um, I can perhaps put some more examples up if you need them